everyone this is pragya pandey from ros academy for competitive exams bhopal and this is our special series on daily news review first of all i wish you all a very happy and prosperous navratri so without wasting any time let's see what is in the news palm oil alliance is formed by five south asian countries those are india pakistan sri lanka bangladesh and nepal it aims at safeguarding the economic and business interest of the palm oil consuming countries and will work towards increasing the consumption of palm oil in member countries if we talk about india to india annually lagbhag 13 se 14 million ton edible oil ko import karta hai jisme se around 8 million ton palm oil is imported from indonesia and malaysia iske alawa other soils like soya sunflower india imports from argentina brazil ukraine and russia अगर आप सभी को याद होगा तो 2022 की शुरुआत में ही जब रशिया और यूक्रेन का वॉर शुरू हुआ उसी समय इंडोनेशिया जो कि सबसे बड़ा प्रोड्यूसर इंपोर्टर और एक्सपोर्टर है पाम ऑयल का उसने इसको थरली बैन कर दिया था जिसकी वजह से पाम ऑयल के प्राइसेस बहुत अचानक से राइज कर रहे थे चलिए देख लेते हैं समथिंग अबाउट दी पाम ऑयल so first of all it is a edible vegetable oil that derived from mass carps that is reddish pulp of the fruit of the oil palms it is it has high shelf life because it is totally resistant to oxidation agar hum iske use ki baat kare to cosmetic food soap shampoo cleaning products to biofuel in sabhi mein iska use kiya jata hai the use of crude palm oil in making biodiesel is branded as green diesel अगर हम इंडिया के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में बात करें तो लगभग तेरह स्टेट्स इसको प्रोड्यूस करते हैं जिसमें से आंध्र प्रदेश गुजरात कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु एंड बिहार आर द प्रोमिनेंट वन मूविंग फर्दर टू द नेक्स्ट न्यूज रूरल इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन कॉर्पोरेशन बिकेम ट्वेल्थ महारत्ना सेंट्रल पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइजेस REC that is Rural Electrification Corporation is a non-banking finance company and it focuses on power sector financing. A CPSC is granted Maharatna status if it has reported more than rupees five thousand crore net profit for three consecutive years, an average annual turnover of rupees twenty five thousand crore for three years, or should have an average annual net worth of rupees fifteen thousand crore for three years. Along with that, the company is awarded. the maharatna status it can invest up to rupees 5000 crore or 15% of its net worth in a single project apart from being granted enhanced power by the government for undertaking mergers and acquisition dekhiye yahan ek term humne dekha nbfc to so nbfc first of all stand for non banking finance companies यहाँ पर दो शब्दों का इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है first is non banking another one is company so it is a company that is why it is registered under the company act of 1956 and 2013 it also offers various banking services but do not enjoy banking license agar hum iske example ke bare mein baat kare so bahut sari insurance companies finance company private equity fund are some of its example they cannot accept demand deposit but 100% fdi is allowed in nbfcs The government is planning to bring telecom bill, which aims to bringing light touch regulation for over the top, that is OTT platforms. The reforms would help subscriber get relief from spam calls and messages. Apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal will come under the ambit of the telecom bill. The draft bill include includes OTT communication services as well as in the definition of the telecom services. Apps like WhatsApp, Zoom, Skype, Facebook, Messenger, Telegram, Microsoft Team, and Google Duo, which provides calling and messaging services, may soon require license to operate in India. Quad country signs humanitarian assistance and disaster relief agreement in view of the Ukraine conflict and climate related events. Quad that stands for Quadrilateral Security Dialogue is an informal strategic forum comprises of four nations namely United States of America, India, Australia and Japan. The origin of Quad can be traced back to 2004 tsunami when India conducted relief and rescue operation for itself and neighboring countries and was joined by Japan, the US and Australia. Also the joint military exercises like Malabar which involved India, Japan, Australia, Singapore and the US also constituted an important factor for formation of Quad. The idea of Quad was formally first 
floated by the Japanese Prime Minister late Shinzo Abe in 2007. In December 2012, Shinzo Abe recreated the concept of Asia's democratic security diamond that involves Australia, India, Japan, and the US to safeguard the Indo-Pacific region. Whereas in November 2017, India, US, Australia, and Japan formed Quad Coalition to develop a new strategy to keep the critical sea route in the Indo-Pacific free from any influence that is specifically from China. G4 country highlights urgent need for reforms in United Nations Security Council. Let's understand what is G4. The G4 nation that comprises of Brazil, Germany, India, and Japan, which has economic and political influence, they support each other's bids for permanent seats on the United Nations Security Council. The G4 countries have figured among the elected non-permanent members of the council since the United Nations established. Let's understand something about the UNSC. The Security Council is one of the principal organ of United Nations organization, which has primary responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security. It has 15 members and each member has one vote. Under the Charter of United Nations, all members states are obliged to comply with Council's decision. The Security Councils take the lead in determining the existence of the threat to the peace or act of aggression. It calls upon the parties to a dispute to settle it by peaceful means and recommended method of adjustment or terms of settlement. In some cases, the Security Council can resort to imposing sanction or even authorize to use of force to maintain or restore international peace and security. At present, the UNSC comprises five permanent members and 10 non-permanent member countries, which are elected for two years term by the General Assembly of the United Nations. The five permanent members are Russia, UK, China, France, and the United States. And these countries can veto any substantive resolution, whereas non-permanent members are Albania, Brazil, Gabon, Ghana, India, Ireland, Kenya, Mexico, Norway, and the UAE. So it's a quiz time. The first question is, consider the following statement with respect to United Nations Security Council. And your options are, it is only organ of the United Nations that has the power to make decisions that member states are obliged to implement. Second option is, each year the United Nations General Assembly elect five non-permanent members for UNSC out of 10 in total for a two years of term. You have to tell the correct answer. The next question is, which is the correct listing of quad grouping nations and options you can see on the screen. Third and the last question is, which of the following statement is correct regarding Quad? And the first option is, Quad is a strategic forum of four nations, that is India, US, Japan, and Australia. The second option is, its genesis is 2004. And the last option is, the intention was to enhance maritime cooperation between the four nations. So you all know the drill. Correct answer up to our comment section and stay tuned with us to know the correct answer. So this is it for today. Join our batches for UPSC, MPPSC, Civil Services Examination seats are very limited. So hurry up. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to hit like button, comment your valuable feedback, and also subscribe our channel to never miss any update. Please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links are given below in the description box. Thank you and see you tomorrow.